Oh, hello, how are you doing? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Benji and Ruprecht. <laughs> oh my God. Um, boys, it's great to have you here. Two, Benji and Oscar, isn't it? Oscar, Oscar and Benji, two dog names. That's fantastic. <laughs> what is it with posh people naming their kids after their dogs? It's great to have you here, and um, I, I need to address a couple of things before we go any further. Uh, to start with, uh, this is not the haircut I asked for. <laughs> yeah, uh, funny for you, funny for you. Uh, I made the mistake of going to a five pound barber, right? It's a mistake many men in the room have made at some point or another, some more recently than others, obviously, right? <laughs> And you, you know, you go in and you think, what's the harm? Why, why could it be? It's just a, a little an Aldi barbers. It says in the window, it says, haircut, five pound. And then you go in and you realize they have one haircut. You're gonna fucking get it, right? That, that's it, that's, that's how it works. They're not barbers, they own the stuff. That's what they are, right? Now, the ladies in the room, this is a foreign concept for the ladies in the room, because you all know, when you go to hairdressers, you have the luxury of knowing that whoever does your hair has at least been to hairdressing school. As one woman throws a fork on the ground. The injustice of it all. The five pound barber does not know that such an institution exists, right? He's bought the stuff and therefore he's a barber. Benji. Oscar. <laughs> Let's leave this chefing dream behind. You and I can start a five pound barber here in London tomorrow. You've got the look for it, right? Five pound barber. We can just, all we gotta do is buy the stuff, right? What's the first thing you think we're gonna need if we're gonna pull this off? First, yes. chairs, look at this guy, fucking. <laughs> so this is like turned into a game of family fortunes straight away. <laughs> is it up there? It's not the top answer. <laughs> chairs. We're gonna start a barber's. What do we need? Chairs. Because <laughs> nobody gets their haircut standing up. Good man. Good man, Oscar. I'm with you. I'm with you. You're a step ahead. What, what's the next piece of kit? What's the next thing we might need, Oscar? Can you? He's wrong. Okay. He's looking into the desert. Oh. Clippers, good man yourself. He's gonna buzz cut everyone, good man. The answer I was looking for was scissors. You will need a scissors. If you're gonna start a five pound barber, you'll need a scissors. Kitchen variety is fine. I swear to God, I've been in a five pound barber where I saw an orange handled scissors. Yeah? In a pint glass of blue liquid. I ask you, it's irrelevant what the blue liquid is. It could be Listerine, it could be toilet duck, right? because we don't give a fuck about germs. If we're doing this, we're just going for it. What's the next piece of kit we're gonna need, Oscar? I'm regretting asking this question already. You can do it, come on. A comb, good man yourself. The answer I was looking for was two mirrors. You always need a minimum of two mirrors, right? One on the wall, one to show the victim the back of their hair after. Has to be done, Oscar. But the key piece of kit, if you're gonna pull this off, if you're really gonna go for it, is 10 to 12 large black and white photos <laughs> that you're gonna hang all around your barber shop. Pictures of haircuts we cannot fucking do. Good to have you here, Oscar. Good man yourself. 